August 23rd, 2023, three best bets are on the way. Let's get into it. What's up guys, it's your boy Noble Living back with another DYF bets video where I'm breaking down my favorite picks and plays of the day as we just try to get to the bag and make some money. Last night was a real rough day on the channel, real rough day in the overall in the majors. There's a lot of underdogs when a lot of handicappers got clapped yesterday. We went 0-3 on the day, hate to see it. Dodgers run line, they gave up a ton of runs late. Orioles, Jay Nerfy, two outs, two, three, two count. We give up a run, you hate to see that. And then the three Three leg player prop parlay. We do lose on Mount Castle, but one guy I was not expecting actually to miss. He ended up missing, so tough to see that. 0 and 3 on the day. You can see our year to date record right here. We're still over 500 on the year, still over 500 in the month of August. So today we're going to bounce back. So if you could drop a big like on the channel, I'd really greatly appreciate it. So this way you can help support the channel. We're growing. We're over 50 subscribers now. We're on the road to 100. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you share this with a few people who you know are into sports betting. So this way we can help y'all get to the money. You can stay up to date on all the other bets that we're putting out, especially with college football and NFL right around the corner. So let's dive into our first best bet of the day. For my first best bet of the day, I'm going with the player prop, and I'm taking Andrew Abbott over 16 and a half outs. Odds minus 115 on Bovada. Make sure you shop around there. And this is a prop that I actually took a few weeks ago on the channel if you tapped in, and I really liked it, and I really liked it again today. Andrew Abbott is taking on the Angels in the first leg of the doubleheader, and this is just another big game for the Reds as they find themselves four games behind the Brewers for the NL Central lead and a half game behind the Cubs for second place. And then they're right there in that wild card race as well. So this is really just a big matchup and a big opportunity for them. And like I mentioned, we cashed on this prop a few weeks ago, and I think this is just a really good opportunity today because the Reds are going on a double header. So you know the ball pen is going to be stretched. The ball pen pitched three guys yesterday. So and then with the late night game again today, I think this should be a, a good opportunity for Abbott to go deep into this ball game and be able to give that ball pen a little bit of rest, especially with the two games that they have to play today. Now in his 14 starts this year, Andrew Abbott has consistently gone over this total. He's pitched at least six innings in eight of those 14 games and then he's also gone over this total of 16 and a half outs which is just good for five and two thirds innings 11 times so he's done it pretty consistently only missed it three times i love to see that and then also at the same time in his last start against the pirates he only went five innings in that matchup and only threw 84 pitches so i think his arm should have a few extra pitches in it today as he typically averages about 96 pitches per game and we've seen him like i said go into the sixth inning several times and i think this is just a good opportunity for him to be able to do that the angels are bottom five in the league in strikeouts per game and they're also in the bottom half of the league in walks per game so they don't take a lot of pitches and they also strike out a lot and that's exactly what you need from a pitcher who's going to go deep into ball games and who's going to keep his pitch count low also furthermore i think the fact that we've got otani on the other side is going to force abbott to really bring his best stuff today otani's been in great form and i think we can have a pitcher's duel here we've got a low total of eight runs so it's not a really expected to be high score Scoring. So because of that, run should be at a premium, and this should be a tight pitching battle today between him and Otani. So give me Abbott to go five and two-thirds innings. The doubleheader should allow him to go at least six innings today, and I think he should be able to go deep into this ball game, considering that he didn't last game, and he's consistently gone over this total several times this year. So let's cash this as our first best bet of the day. For my second best bet of the day, I'm going with my Nerfy. I know the Nerfy didn't cash yesterday, but you know what? It's been pretty consistent for us on the channel, so we're going to run it back today, and I'm going to take the Padres and the Marlins Nerfy. The odds are not out just yet as I film this video, so make sure you guys are shopping around the odds there. We might update it on the screen as well by the time the editors get to it. But we have got a good pitching matchup here with two guys who've been pretty consistent on Nerfies this year. We've got Sandy Alcantara on the mound for the Marlins, and we've got Seth Lugo on the mound for the Padres. Two guys who I really love with the Nerfie. Seth Lugo, 15-4 and four on Nerfies on the year, while Sandy Alcantara is 20-5 and five on Nerfies on the year. They both also have given up runs in the first inning pretty recently. Alcantara in his last start game a run and then Seth Lugo two starts to go gave up a run so because they both pretty consistent with the nerfies I think this just plays into the fact that today they should be able to get one and also both of these offenses are a little bit slower getting the bats going in games the Marlins have a 79% nerfy success hit rate they haven't scored a run in the first inning in three straight while the Padres are a little bit stronger at 67% we also know that that Padres offense can be hit and miss at times this game cashed it on the nerfy yesterday so I really like it again today so giving the Marlins and the Padres 
Padres. No run first inning. I wouldn't play this over minus 135 though. So again, shop around on your books and see what the best odds are out there. But minus 135 would be the cap that I'd play this one at. But I think we should get good value on this. All we need is six outs. Let's sweat it, baby. For our third and final best bet of the day, I'm going with a two leg player prop hitter parlay. These have been cash money for us. Even though we haven't cashed it on the last one yesterday, I'm running it back today. I'm going to take Mookie Best to get a hit. And guess what I'm going to take? I'm going to take Ryan Mountcastle. I know you call me crazy, but I think he's going to get a hit. You parlay those two together, minus 110 odds. And you might probably say to yourself, no, but why would you take Mountcastle after he just blew the bag for us yesterday? And truthfully, I love taking hitter parlays against with guys who missed the hits the day before because most guys typically don't go back-to-back -back games without a hit, especially with the form that Mountcastle's been in. Batting 305 over the last 15 games, and it's been since June that he's gone back-to-back -back games without getting hit. So it's I can take that a two-month sample size that he hasn't gone back-to-back -back games without a hit. So because he didn't get one yesterday, I like him to get one today. He has at least one hit in 22 of the last 25 games, and he has a ton of success against Gosman as well. I mean, I said that yesterday against Kikuchi, but I really like the fact that he's had success against Gosman as well. 11 plate appearances, batting 455 against him. So I think Mount Castle should be able to bounce back today and get one hit, even though he sold for us yesterday. And Mookie Betts, he's a DYF All-Star. Absolutely on fire this past month. I mean, dude is an MVP form, batting 520 over the last seven games, 440 over the last 15 games has at least one hit in 24 of the last 25 games two or more hits in seven of the last nine games not to mention he's got the home run ball going three home runs in the last four games listen Mookie Betts is truthfully the only offense the Dodgers can get going some nights we saw that yesterday he had like two of the three RBIs and you know what I'm gonna keep riding the hot bat until it cools off and until that does I'm just gonna keep going with it so Mookie Betts to get one hit Mount Castle to bounce back to get one hit we parlay those two together minus 110 odds you can't beat that if you're trying to get the plus value you might want to throw Jose Altuve in there he's been consistent Julio Rodriguez might be coming back he's had the few, last few days off so it might take Julio Rodriguez he might come back he's had the last few days off Justin Turner's been absolutely on fire for the Red Sox there are a lot of guys out there who are absolutely smacking the baseball right now so don't let these player pops go over your head make sure that you're playing around with some of the numbers and some of the odds and parlaying them together so this way you can get the best value but I really like these two guys today to get one hit as my final and third best bet of the day well that's it for me today my friends hopefully we can cash in and make some money today yesterday was a dismal day but i love wednesdays because it's a bounce back day and it's a travel day so we've got games going all day starting from early noon o'clock eastern time make sure you click the link in the bio for our telegram group so this way you can stay up to date on all the other plays that we're dropping earlier in the day or some of the other angles that we're looking at as we've got a full slate of mob action today and i know today's the day that we're going to bounce back so you definitely don't want to miss out on that and as always i can't wait to see some of the picks that you're taking so drop a comment below or drop a comment in the telegram group so this way we can continue to make money together and tell each other and make some bread as always dictate your fate i'll see y'all tomorrow let's get to that money and hopefully we can bring out the brooms tomorrow and celebrate another winning day all right guys let's get after it and i'll see y'all tomorrow later